The Book of the Damned, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 11H, Data of More Than the Thrice Accursed, Tablets of Stone, with Ten Commandments engraved upon them, in Hebrew, said to have been found in the mounds in the United States, Masonic emblems said to have been found in the mounds in the United States, were upon the borderline of our acceptances, and were amorphous in the uncertainties and mergings of our outline. Conventionally, or with no real reason for doing so, we exclude these things, and then, as grossly and arbitrarily and irrationally, though our attempt is always to approximate away from the negative states, as ever a Kepler, Newton, or Darwin, made his selections, without which he could not have seemed to be, at all, because every one of them is now seen to be an illusion, we accept that other lettered things have been found in mounds in the United States. Of course we do what we can to make a selection seem not gross and arbitrary and irrational. Then, if we accept that inscribed things of ancient origin have been found in the United States, that cannot be attributed to any race indigenous to the Western Hemisphere, that are not in any language ever heard of in the Eastern Hemisphere, there's nothing to it but to turn non-Euclidean and try to conceive of the Third Hemisphere, or to accept that there has been intercourse between the Western Hemisphere and some other world. But there is a peculiarity to these inscribed objects. They remind me of the records left by Sir John Franklin in the Arctic, but also of attempts made by relief expeditions to communicate with the Franklin expedition. The lost explorers catch their records or conceal them conspicuously in mounds. The relief expeditions sent up balloons from which messages were dropped broadcast. Our data are of things that have been catched and of things that seem to have been dropped or a lost expedition, somewhere, explorers from somewhere, and their inability to return, then, the long, sentimental, persistent attempt, in the spirit of our own Arctic relief, expeditions, at least to establish communication, what if it may have succeeded, we think of India, millions of natives who are ruled by a small band of Essex, only because they receive support and direction from, somewhere else, or from England, 